seeds, supplements, oils, nuts and fish. All of the things you see here either contain omega-3 or they have compounds that can help your own body create it. This is a new way of feeding the 5,000, all of them secondary pupils in County Durham. They'll get fish oil supplements, believed to help concentration and learning in the classroom. It's a nine-month experiment following earlier successful trials. We discovered that there were dramatic improvements, significant differences between the kids who were taking the active capsules. Four and a half years improvement in reading, for example, over the six months of the trial. Hyperactivity was reduced by 80%. Come to a place like this and what smacks you in the face is that supplements really are big business. Some fish oil manufacturers have been reporting 3,000% sales increases. It can cost a tenner a month. The question is, is it worth it? Cost isn't the only downside. Some experts believe supplements are not the answer long term. For all of our children in the country to take fish oil simply isn't a sustainable option because we don't have enough fish um, and then we're going to have to purify that fish to take out all the pollutants so long term I don't think fish oil as supplementation is the answer, we need to be working on better diets. Nutritionists predict there will soon be a cheaper alternative to existing supplements based on microscopic sea plants. There's no doubt that expectations are high, not least among some of the pupils taking part. I've already taken the tablets for about a year now and Hopefully they'll have a great effect on my GCSEs at the end of this year. This feeding of 5,000 pupils may not have a miraculous outcome, but it could further our understanding of supplements and learning.